hello everyone today we are going to implement uh, we are going to look into how to implement a circular path for this patrolling enemies so here you can see I have defined a circular path around this object and actually we had already implemented this patrol paths but uh, I didn't have a way to implement I didn't had a way to define the patrol path as a circular path earlier so what it was doing is it was going on the path and then at the end point it returns but today I'm gonna make it continuous so here is the demonstration yeah it's going Right, so as you can see, it's going in a circular path. Alright, so let's see how to do this today. So at the moment, I have already implemented this patrolling enemy, and this path defines the patrol path. So if I create a nearly circular path like this it can patrol along the path but the problem is it's not taking a circular path it's taking uh, it's going to the end of the path and goes back so let's wait until he come to the end of the path and you will see what i mean okay so he's not going to the exact position because i have given an acceptance radius and you can see now he's returning backward in the given path so i want to have an option to make this character go in a circular path so we can implement some interesting scenarios like enemies that are going in a circular path continuously for example they might be going in round and round again a building or some restricted area or a camp something like that in a game okay so how can we make this character go in circular path so let me first open this ALS NPC patrol in blueprint and here yeah we use this get next location function that is defined under NPC patrolling get uh, under AI as a function so this function get next location function is used by let's see in this PT task get next location so and that is implemented through this CLM BPI NPC interface at next location okay so this is function is consumed by here get next location behavior tree task so if I show you how where I am calling this it should be under this be behavior tree this is a sub tree get next location this is where I have called that 
behavior tree task so by next location get next location what it means is when character reach a certain point in the petrol path or whatever the path differ based on the character's behavior it requests for the next point that the character needs to go so now here if uh, here what happens is I return a certain point and return I returns a certain location based on the based on a point in the spline mesh in this spline that I have this is spline component petrol path spline component so after giving some point then I am gradually incrementing or decrementing based on this petrol direction. So here what happens is if the current petrol point, so I have this array which holds the petrol points world locations and I have this petrol point this represents an index in this petrol points array. So if this petrol point index goes lower than one that means if it becomes zero or if it becomes zero i change the petrol direction to one so then the petrol points will start incrementing and if not if the petrol point is larger or equal to the last index that means we are going to run out of uh, points so in that case I am setting the petrol direction to minus one so that characters uh, we will return a point before the point that we are already in so that way I can get the character to go in reverse direction so now what I want is if we re if we ever reach this point instead of reversing what i need to do is i need to set the petrol point to zero and keep the direction as one so to do that we need a variable to define if it is a circular path or not so um, Yeah. we have this AI uh, variables and petrol points okay so let's add another variable here circular I put it under AI category and by default it will be false so here if this is true let's, let's put this to inside a common co collapsed node um, set direction and here if the if it is a circular path if it is not a circular path we can just follow the previous method we had if it is we should not change the petrol direction instead we should set and instead we should give the zeroth petrol point uh, but in order to get the zeroth petrol point here before i get the next point i increment or decrement 
actual increment in this case and then if I set the current petrol point to zero we will get one index one because after this point it will be it will become one the current petrol point will become one so I'll set here I'll set the current petrol point to minus one <laughs> right I think actually that's all I have to do now let's test So if the code is correct, the character should not turn on data. Ah, yeah, actually I didn't set this circular path value to true here. Okay, let me do that. circular path set to true now it should work let's see All right, it seems it is working. Let's wait until it goes another round, just to be sure. Okay, cool. It is working. All right. So thanks for watching, and as always, project files will be available here for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, uh, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.